Radio Garage, back on the bench. Got a RCI 99N4. So this is my first 99N4 video that I'm putting out there. And uh, I am gonna have an update at the end of this video about uh, future future videos on the channel and, and some, uh, some other stuff related to uh, videos. So stick around for that. But let's get into uh, Mr. Chad's radio here. He had a couple things uh, done to it. We'll get, go over that as well. But yeah, these are nice radios. Um, the only thing different with the between a 99N2 and N4 is the amp section. Same radio otherwise. They're also nice because they have the amp switch. Okay, the on off amp switch comes built in. And what I did for this one is unlock the clarifier, upgraded the AM regulator, and then put a high cut filter in, um, not on a switch, so it's in all the time. So uh, went with something, you know, medium aggressiveness because uh, you can't switch it on and off. You don't want to lose all your receive. And also, too, uh, these things do have quite a bit of white noise if you don't if you don't put any kind of filtering on them. Also, too, keep in mind if you hook this up and get a lot of uh, static or any kind of weird receive uh, issues. I noticed these are extra sensitive on um, like EMI and RFI, stuff like that. Uh, I have a couple different power supplies. I'll either use my 100 amp or my 50 amp for something like this and it makes a lot more noise on my mean well than my Astron and normally uh, the power supplies don't matter on because I have a it's a good mean well, it's the, um, the 100 amp. So uh, this one was sensitive to power supplies and also too, it's even sensitive to my LED overhead light. So I actually, for the receive test, I will have to turn my uh, one light off so that you guys could um, get an accurate reading on the, on the receive. But I'll just show you here, I'll turn the, the light off. Or actually, I have the light on right now. And I'll turn it off. You can hear it drop out. Normally radios don't do that for me, so I'm gonna just keep the um, light on and the volume down for, for right now because we're not doing anything with receive. I want to get into the uh, transmit here. Okay, show you what it's doing on the meters. Uh, just starting with a. Well, no, I'm not gonna start with a 250. I'm gonna start with a hundred. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with a 50 to show you um, the amp off, what you're doing with the amp off. So amp off means red switches down. I'm going to turn the mic gain down. I'm going to turn my power all the way down. We're on AM. She only keys about. So this is going to be good if you ever want to turn your amp off and run this into a separate box. She's only keying about a half a watt. Um, one watt about on the bird. I'm gonna roll the power up. That's all she does with the amp off. About two and a half on the bird, 2.1 on the LP. Okay. Take this out now, put in the 100 watt slug. Right here. Dead key with the amp on. Power all the way down. Give it a second for the LP to catch up. About 17 watts all the way down. All the way up. She's right around that 70, 75 mark. Okay. Turn the mic gain up. Make sure we still have forward average power uh, with the RF power all the way up. And we do. So good average on her. Uh, the LP showing over 100 average on the LP and uh, like 80, a little over 80 on the uh, bird. I don't know. I looked away there. I can't look at both meters at the same time. Uh, okay, so that's average. Let's go into peak. 
Got to get the big boy slug. 500. Give that a second. Come on. There it is, 500. Peak is on. Power is still all the way up. We're still in AM. Mic gain still all the way up. Audio jack break. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. A little over four hundred. And now we'll go to sideband. Yeah, radio check, break, 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 break. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Ah, uh, four hundred there on the bird, and a little under four on the LP. I don't know. The LP was jumping around a lot, but watch the bird here again. Hello, uh, yeah, about four hundred there it hits. Um. Sideband, yeah, you always got to turn sideband on these down, actually, from the factory, from the factory. AM is low from the factory, and sideband is high from the factory, so keep that in mind. Okay, um, so that's power. Let's take it over to over the air. See what this thing sounds like. All right, we're on lower sideband right now which is what I'm still on from doing the testing. And let's see if we can get a good copy. We gotta go on to 22. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. Okay, so sounding good there. We'll put an AM. We're going to do echo off, then we'll put the echo on. Audio check. One, two, three, four, five. Audio check. Break, break, break. Go, um, echo on. One, one, two, three, four, five. Audio check. Break, break. Big radio. Okay, that's with the SRA-198. Uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go over to this microphone because I have a little bit of a future plan for this. You guys remember this one, the Driver Extreme? DX656. Let's see what this thing sounds like. I am going to be doing a new test on uh, mic, sh uh, mic shootout test. It's going to be totally different than what I've done before. Audio check. Break, break, break. Oh, that's got a different sound to it. Audio check. Break, break, break. Okay. Yep. Yeah, totally different sound. One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty. So there is all our audio checks. You can see maybe uh, you can get a live over the air check after uh, I'm done with the testing here. I don't know who's going to be out there, if anybody. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook it up to the spectrum analyzer. Okay, actually I forgot, I uh, I didn't show it on the scope, uh, so let me, before I hooked up the spectrum analyzer, go back down to 20, so we're off the monitor channel, we'll hook our um, audio into it here, put our power up, about halfway, mic gain's up, okay, come over here, zoom in, it's off the scale, so we got to bring it down a little. There you go, looking good, and I'll vary the power. She stays nice and linear, okay? And she starts losing the, losing the time in here. I only hit the 20 uh, bandwidth because it to fit it in better, but now I could fit it in without it because I have less power. So, all right, that's that. We'll get it hooked up to the spectrum analyzer. All right, here we go on the spectrum analyzer. The way I'm gonna do this is uh, I'll show it to you both ways. As I'm going, I'll do it with the amp on and the amp off. So right now, we got the amp on, switches up. Okay, let me get this over here. Maybe where you can see it. So we're at five megahertz, amp on, nothing there. 
Uh, of course, I have, the, I have to have the power turned down because I can't do the whole uh, amp power into the service monitor. There's amp off. Go to 15. Amp off. Amp on. Two little spurs trying to start here. Obviously, they're uh, under 10 dB down. They're negative 10 dB down or even a little bit lower than that. We got like a 40 dB on reference signal. There's 30. Nothing there. Amp on. Amp off. Go to 60. Nice clean radios. Amp off. Amp on. Okay. So that is the spectrum analyzer. I'm just going to do the receiver. All right, here's the receive test. And like I said, I got that uh, light off for this test because it was bringing in extra background noise. So just to get this accurate here, got to uh, set the set the bench up accordingly. So negative uh, 110 and a half. And looks like we got, man, we had 11 there, 11 and change. It's jumping around a little bit. Just about 12 dB. I could probably go 110. If I do it 110, even be right on 12. So 110, 110 and a half uh, dBm there for AM. Take it to sideband. Okay. A good. I mean, good receive for for a, an amp radio because the amp radio has never never seemed to uh, receive as well. I've said that before. I'll turn my volume up a little. This thing's got a killer sideband. 120, looks like 123 and a half. So that's really good. 123 and a half. Yeah, right. There's 11 and change. I had it there. Okay. So yeah, 123 to 123 and a half on sideband. And uh, yeah, so this thing's done. So you. So you know that it does here and everything's working good. Show you negative 73 dBm. Okay. S9. Good there. She's all set. Alright, so that should do it. Turn that off. And uh Yeah, if anybody um <laughs> is interested in doing uh stuff with radios uh just wanted to tack this on to the end of the video here uh if anybody's really interested in learning stuff with radios and uh you want to get away from kind of some of the garbage that's been going around on here lately uh, a lot of trolls a lot of idiots uh, a lot of jealousy stuff like that and uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to start a subscription a, or not a subscription a membership program all right, and uh, this way I could do some different stuff for you guys. Uh, for the guys that really care, that really that really do enjoy supporting the channel, and uh, for the guys that want to learn some stuff and some how-to, I'm going to actually have how-to videos and stuff like that because I get a lot of requests now for, uh, oh, you didn't show how to do this, you didn't show how to do that. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the time like to sit around and just uh, and make how-to videos because... That's taking away time from actually making money, working on radios, um, you know, doing business-related things. Uh, YouTube honestly doesn't pay Jack Ditley, okay? I didn't even, uh, the last month, yeah, I monetized. I didn't even get a check last month. That's how low it was. Uh, so it's, it's not even a tank of gas, okay? So what I'm going to do is... Uh, for guys that are really, you know, into mods, custom stuff, and that's the other thing. A lot of people say things about, oh, well, why, why do you, why do you take these radios and you do different things to them? Um, number one, the customer always, I do what the customer asks, okay. And um, if they request some, you know, 95% of the time I do what they ask, but some things I have to obviously decline. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's all, it's a hobby, it's personal preference somebody likes blue lights instead of white lights oh that looks terrible no that's what they like you think it looks terrible okay people um, you know think whatever they say is the right thing obviously we all know that and uh, yeah just let's let's have fun with this stuff guys it, it's just it's just crazy the way the way people get on here and 
where was I going with this? But yeah, I mean, as far as modifications, that's why it was uh, modifications. Uh, you have to, you have to realize, um, just because it's a brand new radio doesn't mean it can't use um, some upgrades. It can't use some uh, tuning, some alignment, stuff like that. You know, I know guys that buy brand new cars and trucks. They rip them apart, and, and you know, they modify them. It's fun. It's a hobby. It's what we like to do. Uh, it's your taste build it your way, you know have it have it the way you like it not the way somebody else does so um, Yeah, it's just it's just crazy people, you know get get down on other people about the way they like their radio uh, Oh, why'd you unlock that clarifier? Don't you know a, a lock clarifier is the way to go? <laughs> yeah, it's just ton, tons of stuff like that and uh yeah, as far as the old radios, you know, people say, oh, you should have left it stock. I like, you know, stock radios are best. Uh, again, that's your opinion. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have a, uh, the next, you know, I'll probably work on it over the weekend. I'm going to get a, uh, a membership program going. This way I could really devote some time for some special videos. And uh, for, for people who are going to be doing live streams on there. I'm going to be, you know, have a whole separate slew of videos because I mean I do videos multiple multiple videos a week you guys might only get one week uh, a video a week or two videos a week the way it is right now because uh, like I said it's really it it doesn't really um, I can't I just can't afford it I just can't you know to be to be pumping out um, videos with the upload times but yeah everybody pretty much that that gets a radio um, you know I send them a uh, a little demo video and uh yeah it doesn't make it onto youtube a lot of times but yep that's the plan so we're going to be doing some uh some rearranging on the channel and uh hopefully you guys will you know check that out and uh support me so i'd like to be able to help you guys out more and uh appreciate all you longtime subscribers and everybody out there and uh this video is getting crazy long so going to cut it here and thanks chad for the order i'll get this thing uh, wrapped up and headed out your way so thank you much everybody have a good weekend we'll catch you in the next one the radio garage we're off the key